many photography business hacks can I share with you? In Welcome to White House Studios, my name is Rosh. The mission of this channel is to support you to grow your photography business and strengthen the photography industry. And hey, why not? Everyone else is doing it. Let's share as many hacks as we possibly can in a short period of time. It's finally a nice day in Michigan. I'm, I'm going outside to do this. Be more productive by batching your activities such as your post-processing, your email, your follow-up, and the delivery of your images. Kind of like batching your activities, sit down and schedule your social media in one sitting. But the key is, you need to be there when it's published. Use Google Trends, Google forward slash trends, to keep up to date on the latest activity in the photography industry so you can write about it in your blog and website. Even if you photograph free or cheap, send an invoice for your full amount minus a discount so they understand your full value. Create your own product or service and give it a name. Turn off your phone for an hour a day and see what happens. I'm not sure about that one. Don't go to the web, have the web come to you. Follow the latest updates on blogs and websites using Feedly.com. You could follow a blog such as, continue to educate yourself even when you're working out. Listen to podcasts. Avoid scope creep. That means not allowing assignments to get larger than what you price them for. One way to help you avoid scope creep is to send an invoice every time a client asks you to do a little something extra. Now you may not charge them for it, but they can see the value. And if there ends up being too many similar invoices, even if they're small, they do add up. You can let the client know the next time, I gotta charge you. Take a walk once or twice a day to keep your mind refreshed and recharged. Hey, I've worked through many photography business problems just by taking a walk. Write out a list of 10, 20, or 30 business targets that you want as part of your portfolio. Seriously, that will help you focus your photography business. Ask the people closest to you for referrals. Honestly, they're the ones who already know, like, and trust you. Use to-do lists to get more done. Seriously. Buy and use easy to remember domains to help direct people to where you want them to go. For example, Rosh.video sends people to my YouTube channel. My other channel. Ask every photography business customer for a testimonial. Set a designated time or day of the week for quiet time, time for you to focus on what you need to get done. Take advantage of Archive Day, which is actually Saturday, to syndicate your old content. Your new followers haven't seen your best stuff. Get it out there, put it on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, and let people know you have awesome content to follow. To save great ideas and inspiration, use Evernote. Don't waste valuable time. Don't schedule more than one meeting with a valuable prospect. Get them to yes or no. This is a good one. Partner with other businesses to grow your business fast. Understand the three E's of customers, three types of customers. Entering customers, existing customers, and exiting customers. Entering customers, entering into a relationship with you. Existing customers, customers that are continuous, and exiting customers, those which are leaving. What can you do to improve the experience of your entering customers and your existing customers to make sure they never become exiting customers? Create a professional email account. It can forward to any email that you want that you use on a daily basis, such as a Gmail account. However, it looks much more professional when you're using your domain as part of your email. Help Google send you more business by filling out your Google My Business profile. That's Google forward slash business. If you have employees or pay contractors, I highly recommend you use a payroll company. Now, this is not an endorsement or promotion. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just letting you know who I use. I use Gusto.com. I like them because they fill out all the forms, send the money into the government, and even send out the 1099s to my contractors at the beginning of the year. Don't buy all your photography equipment. Rent it, especially if you don't use it on a regular basis. Start collecting emails on day one, and if you're already in business, start collecting them right now. You will not regret it. Hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload. I'll see you in the next video.